So one of the coolest things about my instrument in particular is that it's a, a really emotional, uh, expressive instrument, you know. So, um, you know, you can play it really happy, you know, like, you know, but, you know, that's not blues, you know, blues, blues harmonica, which is really, the harmonica is built for blues, is really expressive, you know, so it's like. so you can be really expressive with it. The style that I like to play is not your typical um, harmonica that you would hear maybe like Bob Dylan play, you know? This is like Chicago's 50 style distorted blues harmonica, you know? a pretty broad range uh, of music. I've gone from being total ska, punk rock, you know, to moving into uh, like hardcore scene and kind of doing a little time warp and going back into the classic rock and, and old blues. Uh, I was into hip hop when I was real little, you know. I, I went through the whole range of things and I think I've held on to um, certain aspects from different generations you know, that I really liked, you know, the real, the feeling and the uh, kind of the political outcry of the 60s, you know, really brought about some really good music that they, they for once, they weren't afraid to, to speak their mind, even if it was kind of in, in uh, metaphors and code, you know, to, to protest the war and to protest uh, what their government's doing. Um, I know a lot of other bands have uh, taken akin to that, like uh, Rage Against the Machine, I was a big Tom Morello fan for a long time. I felt uh, he was able to take an instrument like the guitar and play two roles, the guitar player and the DJ, you know, and, and he was able to blend it, you know, pretty well. Uh, the, the older stuff, I love David Gilmour, uh, Jimmy Page, you know, Jimi Hendrix, you know, all those guys, you know, they're just cool. You know, you can't go without Eric Clapton and Stevie Ray Vaughan and all these guys. They really made a name for, uh, soloists and guitar players, you know, uh, throughout time. <laughs> I've learned so much more on guitar in the past couple of years, or a little more than that, but I, I felt like that uh, I've really, really increased my knowledge of the instrument and uh, my comfort with it. 
And uh, I think part of it is because uh, I'm playing with all these great musicians and I got to keep up with them, you know, I'm the old dude. I said my heart starts beating The minute I lay my eyes on you I just can't stop this feeling Oh, no matter what I do In my case, never in a million years would I imagine that I would be playing with my children at, at my age and at their age, that they want me to be there, I want to be there, and that we can get along so well and, and just have this wonderful thing going on between us. It's, it's magic to me. I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. Somebody told me, never let anybody stop you from doing what you want to do. And at first you go, oh, okay, well, all right, that's easy. Don't let anyone stop you. But sometimes it's yourself that tries to stop you. And sometimes that's the person that is the most challenging to try to, you know, overcome these doubts that you have in your mind. So I would say that no matter what, um, even if your immediate family doesn't support you, seek a family outside that will support you and seek people that that do enjoy doing the same things as you and are passionate about the same things as you and seek support in that because there's you're you're never alone and no matter what things that you're going through no matter what adversities that you have to overcome no matter what mountains you have to climb you're never alone there's always there's always hope that you, that that potential that you have can be fulfilled and so, um, like, I think everyone in Rhythm and the Method just basically saying never give up. <laughs> Hello. 